greetings my dear students so in this video we will try to see how we can write two dimensional subscripted variable so in my previous videos so we have already seen how can we create one dimensional subscripted variable in which we can store values in a row and we have seen various methods to input data as well as taking output of subscripted variable so here again we start with the declaration integer a let it be a 2 cross 2 2 rows 2 columns so it's a matrix form now data is input through same manner a 1 2 3 4 the only difference is of output so let us see how we can print this do 10 i from 1 to 2 print star comma here as you as you see it is of two dimension one dimension we will uh, we have taken by the do array and uh, second dimension we have to write side by let it be i comma j and uh, j also grow from 1 to 2 so here we write and continue then read star comma stop and so let us see what we have made here first we save this let us save this array 7 now we will compile this and run this and you see output on your screen in matrix form first row 1 3 second row 2 4 so this is how now let us see how we have entered data so we have entered data 1 2 3 4 so data is stored in the form 1 3 2 4 this is how data is stored so data is stored in a column form let us check another way of printing this one more thing we can add uh, more space here by writing print star so this will add uh, more space to the consecutive rows even we can write uh, here print star this will add an extra row before the printing of matrix and another way is as we have done in previous that we can write two arrays consecutively that is adding one uh, extra braces i from 1 to 2 j from 1 to 2 this will serve the purpose also let us see whether this works yes but now the output will be in a single row output will be in a single row but if you want to print it like a matrix then we use the previous method that is this by adding an array now you can uh, add more dimension if it is of 2 cross 3 so we need six elements 5 6 so for that the uh, two rows three columns so i is uh, 1 to 2 but j is from 1 to 3 now let us again run and compile so here on your screen you can check so two rows and three columns so this will be the output so i hope you have an idea how we can deal with two dimensional arrays